Don't stare at them as they may think you are a threat. Instead, stand still or slowly walk away without turning your back. If the dog comes closer, let it sniff you. But don't try to touch it. Always remember to be gentle and give them space. Thank you. Thank you, Sandhi. Now I have Komal who will give you some tips about what to do in case a dog approaches you very aggressively and is agitated. If a dog is barking or showing its teeth, it's best to stay away. Stand still like a tree, your arms at your side. Avoid making sudden movements or running away as this can trigger the dog's chase. Instinct. Don't make direct eye contact with the dog as some dogs may interpret this as a challenge or a threat. If the dog is jumping, protect your face or neck by keeping your face, hand arms close to your body. Thank you. Thank you, Komal. Now I have Vani who will make you aware of appropriate actions to be taken in case you get bitten by the dog. In case if you are bitten by the dog, remember these important steps. First, wash the wound immediately. Wash the bite mark with soap and water for at least 15 minutes to reduce the risk of infection. Second, seek for a medical help. Go to a healthcare provider as soon as possible, even if the bite looks minor. Thank you, Vani. Now we have Vishesh, who will from the Rabies Task Force, who will guide you in general regarding reporting about dog bites. And lastly, after the dog has moved away, whether it has bitten or not, find an adult you trust and inform them about the situation. They can help you with your injury and also report the incident to the dog's owner or the local authority if necessary. Always tell your parents, teachers and elders if any dog has scratched you or bitten you. Together, we can and rabies for good. Let's spread awareness and take action and protect our community. Thank you. Children, please give a big hand to the rabies task force. Children, you see how communication is so important. But what about those differently able children who are unable to speak and they have to use sign language? And I must tell you that September 23rd is dedicated as World Sign Language Day. So we have Kinjal who will be speaking on the occasion and telling you the importance of this day. Over to Kinjal. Good morning everyone. September 23rd is International Day of Sign Languages. A day to recognize and celebrate the importance of sign languages worldwide. International Day of Sign Languages promotes the use of sign languages and raises awareness about the importance of inclusion and accessibility for the deaf and hard of hearing community. Sign languages are unique and valuable languages with their own grammar, vocabulary and syntax. They are essential for deaf people's identity, culture and community. This day aims to break down barriers and challenges faced by the deaf and hard of hearing community including languages bars and social isolation and limited access to information and opportunities. International Day of Sign Languages promotes the equality and human rights for deaf and hard of hearing individuals, recognizing their right to use their preferred language and have access to opportunities and services. This day celebrates the diversity of sign languages and deaf culture worldwide, acknowledging the importance of linguistic diversity, culture diversity and community in power. Let's recognize the value of sign languages work towards the more inclusive and accessible world for us. Thank you. Thank you, Kinjal. Antre mein yehi kehna chahungi. Shabdon ka hona. Shabdon ka hona abhi vyakti ke liye nahi zaruri. Aankhi bayaan kar deti hai har khushi aur har majroori. Thank you everyone for patient listening. Let's have a great day ahead. Thank you.